Hey guys, I found out that it is really hard to explain what we are doing for this unit study because there's so many resources. So I'm going to do kind of an overview and I'm going to be linking some stuff below that I may not necessarily mention that we're going to be using for resources. But what we're doing is we're going to start out by making an Africa book. I printed these pictures out so you can cut them out, glue whatever he wants onto the cover of. We're using a three prong folder. And in the front, we're going to put this KWL chart, which you can get these. Just search KWL chart. Um, but I asked him what he knows about Africa already, what he wants to know about Africa, and then we'll keep track of things that he learned about Africa. And it'll just be a fun keepsake for him to look back on, and we'll just put little things in there along the way um, as we're studying. And I haven't picked things out ahead. We'll just kind of do that organically. But the main thing that I'm using is I'm using the us born Geography Encyclopedia, and it has a whole section on the people of Africa. It talks about just an introduction to Africa, people and power, desert lands, West and Central Africa, landscapes of the East and Southern Africa, African art, and it's just got all these things, and it has quick links in here that I kind of checked out first as kind of a starting starting place for research and gathering information, and some of them are really good, and I'm going to be using those with my study. But basically, we're going to do an introduction to Africa. We're going to listen to some Swahili music. Um, I have this excellent book right here. It's called Africa is Not a Country. And so it has little stories about children from all different countries in Africa and a little sample of what their day might be like. So in the front of the book, it's an excellent map, and I actually printed, I photocopied that map. And so I'm going to give this to Samuel when we read, and we'll just read a few stories at a time. And as I'm reading, we can look together and find where their country is in the map, and he can be looking at that while we're reading the story. And of course, he can look at the pictures here too. But this will just kind of help to explore the diversity of Africa. I love this book. It's called Africa is Not a Country, and it's by Marjorie Burns, if you can see it. So, excellent, excellent book. Um, and we're going to make an African drum, too. And then we're going to look at the Peoples in Power page from the um, Us Born Geography Encyclopedia, and we're going to talk about what a refugee is. There's a shop. We have a local African shop that has um, directly related to work in Africa. Anyway, it's really cool, and I don't know how to, I don't have time to explain all the details, but we're going to go there and look at some of the stuff there and um, learn about African weaving, and we might try to do some African weaving. And we're going to learn how to wear, I'm sure I'm not saying this right, but a kente, kent, kente, it's the traditional African wrap. So we're going to practice putting one of those on and have a lot of fun with that and uh, read some stories about that. Um, and then we're going to learn about the desert lands in Africa, and we're going to read this book called This is the Oasis by Miriam Moss. And it's got some great information in the back, too, about sandstorms and the Sahara. And it's just a really awesome book that talks about a little bit about the desert. Um, we're going to learn about what an oasis is. We're going to study a little bit about ancient Egypt because that was in the oasis, and Egypt is a part of Africa, which people don't usually realize. So we have a book. Um, it's I'll put a link to it below. I don't have it with me. It's Look Inside Ancient Egypt, and it's got like um, look the flaps. And Samuel loves that book, and I kind of leave those books up on my shelf for special times. So we'll pull that down and look at it. And then we're going to learn about um, West Coast and Central Africa. And I have a book, also not with me, but I'll leave a link below, called Anna Hibiscus Splash. And it's about a little girl who lives in Africa, and her going to the beach. And we're going to read that. Um, we have a book here, right here. It's called Bringing the Rain to Cap Capitai Plain. And um, we're going to read about African storytelling. That, that was, that's what that book's going to be, and we're going to make, we're going to make some African food together, and we're also going to, um, and this is in the desert lands too, we're going to be using this book right here, 
which is the Esborn World of Animals. And it's it's got everything divided by country and then within the country divided by um, region. So as we study the different regions of Africa, we're going to look up the different regions here. So like, for example, see, they've got this page of Africa and all the different regions. And then when we study the desert, for example, we'll look at all the desert animals. And if there's any animals he's interested in, this has the quick links again. And so we can just pull up a video and see that animal and find out a little more information about it. But it's got the desert and the jungle and just all the different places. And so again, just another way to learn about the diversity in Africa. And um, then we'll do the landscapes of the east. And we're going to learn a little bit about the Maasai people. And we're going to do some Maasai beadwork um, crafts which will help us with patterns and stuff too, which would be really great. And also at that time, we are going to look at the water crisis in Africa and Samuel really wants to help raise some money to get some wells over there. So we're gonna look at whether we wanna get a well or a latrine or what he wants to do and learn a little bit about that and see how we can help. Um, at some point in here, we may also do something with World Wildlife Fund with some of the endangered animals in Africa, but I'm gonna kind of see how his excitement level is on that before we go. Um, go there. Um, and then we're going to learn about Southern Africa and African art and kind of tie it all up. And some of the other books that we have that we're kind of looking at that we can look at along the way are um, This is a Tree, and it's about the Baobab tree. I think I said that right. And this is an amazing, fascinating book. And this is a tree that is, if you've never heard about a Baobab tree, you should totally look it up. Like, Totally. Like, I can't go into detail because there's not enough time in this video, but really neat. This is a really great, great book. This is another book by Miriam Moss, who wrote The Oasis. And then this book, I just found this book, and I love this book. Um, it's called Sosu's Call. And I like this book because this is about a little boy who um, whose legs don't work. He can't walk. And everyone in his village kind of feels like he's not really worth much. And he struggles because he wants to be at school and he wants to be doing the things that the other children are doing. And while he's still helping at home, he's not doing what everyone else is doing. And there's a, um, a, a terrible storm in his village. The water is coming and they live right on the river. And um, everything is at risk. And so he scoots himself over in the midst of the storm to the drum shed and beats on the drum to tell everyone that there's trouble. So they can all come in from the fields where they're working and basically he rescues the town and everybody realizes that even though he can't walk, he's still a very valuable part of their community or the village. And it's just an excellent, excellent book. Um, and again, trying to expose Samuel to all these different cultures and ways of living. Um, I have an aunt who has been to Africa many, many times. She loves to go visit there and um, she, she works with a group of women there and does some Bible studies with them and other stuff. And she knows them really well. Like, it's, it's like her second home. And so we're going to try to see if we can get together with her. And maybe she can show Samuel some pictures and some of the things that she's brought back from Africa and tell him a little bit more about where she goes and the culture there. And um, there is some, we've been writing someone who's super sweet. And um, she's been sending. Samuel letters from Africa, and her and her family are actually going to be in the area soon speaking about their work in Africa, so we're going to go, go see them, and that'll be fun. So that's kind of what we're doing. I'll try and leave some more links in the comments below for you. Let me know if you have any questions, but that's kind of a brief overview of what we're doing on our study of Africa. Are we forgetting anything? Are we leaving anything out? Are any of you guys from Africa? Is there stuff that we should be studying? Oh, and um, my sister-in-law lives in South Africa, so she's going to be sharing some stuff with us about South Africa and the way it works there and what things are like there. So we're really excited, and I'm excited to start the school year with Samuel. Yay! Leave any questions or comments below, and I'd love